Okay, can I have a, a motion, please, to adjourn private session? Move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, I'd like to welcome everyone and call the June 16th, 2014 Board of Education meeting to order. Adequate notice of this meeting was forwarded to the Asbury Park Press and The Beacon on January 8th, 2014 by posting the notice in the Fork River Post Office and the Lenoka Harbor Post Office and by filing a copy of the notice with the Lacey Township Clerk as required by the Open Public Meeting Law. Would you please stand to salute the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Page 46. Could I have a motion that the board approve the minutes and the appropriate attachments of the agenda regular meeting held on May 19th, 2014? I'll make that motion. Second. Roll call. Mr. Giordano. Yes. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. Mr. Marnack. Yes. Mr. Schubaker. Yes. Mr. Carney. Yes. Mrs. Torello. Uh, yes. Mrs. Downey. Yes. Can I have a motion that the board approve the minutes of the private session held on May 19th, 2014? Motion, please. Move. Second. Roll call. Mr. Giordano. Abstain. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. Mr. Marnack. Abstain. Mr. Schubert. Abstain. Mr. Carney. Yes. Mrs. Torello. Yes. Mrs. Downing. Yes. Page 70. Yeah, you got okay. We have one more. On yeah, you got it. What page? Back to 46. 46. Where? 46. 46. Didn't I just do that? No, you didn't. Oh, 46. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm sorry. Move that the board approve the minutes of the public hearing held on May 7, 2014. Sorry. Move it. Second. Second. Mr. Giordano. Yes. Mrs. McElroy. Yes. Mr. Marnack. Yes. Mr. Schubert. Yes. Mr. Carney. Yes. Mrs. Torello. Yes. Mr. Downey. Yes. Now, please, so. Can I have a motion to approve payment of bills totaling $6,448,575.83? Move. Second. Mo uh, roll call, please. Mr. Giordano. Yes. Mrs. McElroy. Yes. Mr. Marnack. Yes. Mr. Schubert. Yes. Carney. Yes. Mrs. Torello. Yes. Mrs. Downing. Yes. Motion through the adoption. Move. Thank you. Is there a second? second? Roll call. Mr. Giordano. Yes. Mrs. McElroy. Yes. Mr. Marnack. Yes. Mr. Schubert. Yes. Mr. Carney. Yes. Mrs. Torello. Yes. Mrs. Downing. Yes. Mr. Stein, do you have a? Nothing additional right now. Okay. Our student representatives, who would like to go first? To I'll go first. Okay, thank you. Um, hello. Prom was June 6th, that was a great success. And then all we have left is the big day on Friday. We come in early for uh, breakfast and graduation practice. And then graduations later in the evening. And then Project Grad. And then we're out of here. <laughs> so <laughs> I'd like to thank um, the SGA advisor, Ms. Dee Police, uh, senior class advisor, Ms. Hughes Mr. Hanshu and the administration and the Board of Education for a great year and a great high school career. So thank you all. And introducing my successor, Paul Toth will be the senior class president next year. He's in Good evening. It's hard to believe that it's coming to an end so soon. Um, Pat and I will be taking a trip to the food bank this Wednesday to do our spring drop off at the food bank. The Thespian Society induction, brand new this year at the high school, is tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the auditorium, and then refreshments will be served in the cafeteria after that. Mr. Lacey was May 21st. Uh, you can ask me or Pat, it was so much fun. Um, 
really glad that it happened this year. Because there were rumors that it wasn't going to happen. Um, and I'm glad that we participated. This is going to be a memory that stays with us forever. Um, thank you to our judges, Ms. McCormick, Ms. Anderson, Mr. Brewster, Mr. Tramontata, Mr. Sotero, and behind the scenes, Ms. DeFelice, Ms. Anderson, and Mr. Paola. And a huge shout out and thank you to Ms. McCormick for all the hand-drawn lions that she did. Um, about, what did she like, 20? 20 of them? Huge, huge posters that were all hand-drawn. So thank you for that. A couple thank yous. The Board of Education, Mr. Hanju, Ms. Esch, Mr. Bannon, the main office secretaries, Ms. Sullivan, freshman class advisor, Ms. York, sophomore class advisor, Ms. Anderson, junior class advisor, Ms. Hutchwell, senior class advisor, Ms. Steve Felice, Ms. Steve Felice, Ms. Steve Felice, SGA advisor, Mackenzie Bidwell, Pat Moore, and my outstanding officers. It's been a pleasure working with all of them this year. Unsung Hero Award winner strives to be a well-rounded individual and participates in a variety of activities throughout the school year. You can see her at football games as a member of the color guard, on stage as part of the drama club, writing as a member of the school newspaper, the local library and the reading committee, tab and sale, as well as participating in recreational activities and volunteering at her church. She also maintains high academic standards and regularly receives high honor. It is within great pleasure that I present the Matthew Club on some year award to Ms. Tori Kim. At the uh, at the faculty meetings, Pat and I will read the uh, feature teacher and this faculty meeting for June just happened to land on senior skip day. We were told not to come in, enjoy your day off. So, <laughs> so what we're gonna do it tonight. I'll, I'll keep that to myself. <laughs> June's feature teacher is someone who can be also known as teacher of the quadrennial. quadrennial. Ms. Dee Felice is someone who, whether she liked it or not, has made LTHS her second home. Over the years, she has put a tremendous amount of time into helping and bettering our school and community. Homecoming, eighth grade orientation, food bank, prom, and the new student breakfast are just a few of the events that Ms. Dee Felice advises or runs a helping hand to. She is also the Student Government Association advisor. <coughs> With all these tasks, she still finds time to be an outstanding teacher, both inside and outside the classroom. Unfortunately, Ms. Dee Felice will be retiring this year, or as she describes it, on a beach somewhere far away. We appreciate all that you've done for us individually and as a whole. And we will truly miss you next year. Congratulations, Ms. Stevens. We don't have your award yet, so. <laughs> and don't kill me for giving that to you. Now I just want to introduce my successor, Mackenzie Bidwell. And for one last time, it's been an honor and pleasure to serve on the board. Thank you all for an outstanding year. Thank you. And Luke and Patrick, it has been a true pleasure having you guys on the board. You've represented your classmates in the utmost um, way that you possibly can. You've been involved with the community, and uh, I hope someday we see you up here sitting on the board someday when you get like Mr. Schubiger when after he graduated, Mr. Giordano. They both graduated from Lacey, and here they are sitting here. Maybe you shouldn't talk to them, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but congratulations for a job well done. Uh, we wish you a lot of luck in your future, and please come back and visit us. And uh, Paul and Mackenzie, we look forward to working with you next year. 
So I hope, uh, welcome, and we'll see you in September, I guess. Okay, so thank you. Okay, at this time, I'd like to turn the meeting over to Dr. Brower. Thank you, President Dunning, and I too echo those same sentiments. Thank you so much, Dr. Patrick, for all that you do to um, make this year so special for the school community. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. Hanchu, who will share with us Students of the Month. Thank you, Dr. Barr, for being invite the uh, Board of Education to join us over here so we can show you the, our senior spotlight. I'd like to introduce to you our first Student of the Month for, of course, the month of June, David Bukow. Good luck and 
we're going to miss you. Congratulations, Jackie, and special senior of the month. We'll be right back with our vocational senior of the month, Mariah Stevens. Hello, my 
name is Dan Furniture Pony. Um, this past February, the Lacey Township Alex Club sponsored four students from the Lacey Township High School Association Against Drugs and Alcohol to attend the 18th Annual Youth Peer Leadership Conference, which was held at the Ocean Place in West Long Branch, New Jersey. Over 400 students from all over the state of New Jersey came to this conference to learn, share ideas, and become motivated to take what they learned back to their community in meaningful ways. Hi, my name is Sam McCray, and I'm also a member of the Aid Advisory Board. There were many ideas shared at the conference and many inspiring speakers. All the speakers overcome adversity of challenges in their lives, and often the kind of None of the speakers chose that path, and they emphasized the courage, determination, and strength that is required to get through tough times without making bets. Hi, my name is Erica Schoenberg, and I'm also a member of the Aid Advisory Board. Attending the conference was an awesome experience for our members, and we look forward to incorporating some of the ideas from the conference into Ada's programs. We thank Lacey, Lacey Alps for providing this opportunity for our members and for the generous support provided through the, throughout the year for community and school events, which included printed materials, coloring books, red ribbon and meat promotion material, support for student and parent educational programs. Because of your support, Ada is able to provide more programming for elementary and high school students to encourage them to live healthy, substance-free lives. Thank you for all that you do. Um, sorry for butchering your last name, but Mr. Eric Wendt, thank you very much for your support, right? <laughs> Scholarship. On Monday, June 16, 2014, the John Ide Scholarship in the amount of $400 will be awarded to Mark E. Prouse, valedictorian. Mark, are you here? Come on down, Mark. <laughs> about Mr. Ides. At the time of his death, Mr. Ides was domiciled and had his residence right, right here on Lacey Road. <laughs> Mr. Ides died on March 8, 1976, leaving a will dated November 20, 1963, which bequeathed unto the Lacey Township Board of Education $10,000. He requested that a scholarship award be established so that an award might be made annually with the proceeds of that $10,000 to the student who graduates, graduates from the eighth grade of the public school in Lacey Township with the highest scholastic honors. Scholastic honors would mean the student who has the highest grade point average of those students attending the whole academic year. In the event a public high school is established in the Township of Lacey, then in that event he directed that such scholarship award shall be changed and made to the student graduating from said high school with the highest scholastic honors. And thus, Marky Prouse, Val Victoria. Congratulations. And I had the pleasure of sitting with Mark and his family at the Ocean County Superintendent's Roundtable Breakfast, and a fine young man. And Mark, congratulations, and I'm sure we're going to hear a lot about you in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, President Downey. So this is also a very special evening for us. As you know, monthly we recognize our students of the month. Um, but this meeting, particularly in June, is when we recognize our retirees. And so this will represent our third annual legacy uh, book program where we set out to identify someone who knows our retirees best and to uh, locate a book that we would give to you tonight and keep in our, in our library and our media centers. This is a very special program for us because it leaves your mark in our schools uh, for, forever. And we're very proud of that. We wish you all of the very best in your years to come. We know it's a very difficult decision to make and we are going to miss you very much each and every one of you have played such an important role in the work that we do here, educating students and supporting their learning. 
the books that you'll receive tonight may represent just something that you shared with someone, maybe a friend or a colleague, maybe an interest or a hobby that you talked about. But it is, a not, it is not an easy process and quite difficult when we try to identify a book that we think represents your legacy here. Some of, you, some of you may find it humorous, some of you heartwarming and touching. But at the very end, we want you to know that our deepest gratitude goes to you and all that you have done to serve the students here in Lacey Township. So at this time, we would like to start it. Um, I will begin with Mr. Hanshu, principal of Lacey Township High School, who will um, present his memory books in honor of the retirees leaving his school this year. Thank you, Dr. Brown. Uh, what I'd like to do is educator at heart, of course, always an educator at heart. So I'll be introducing some of our educators. Thanks uh, to all the people that are retiring for all your service to the district uh, and all those related to Council High School. So I'm going to give you a little bit of background about each of the book as I introduce the individuals to you. Um, on behalf of in memory of Jack Hornfeld, I'd like to bring Maria down, please. <laughs> At times it's difficult finding the perfect book, but when you hear the people are, of course, how many New York Giants fans do we have in here? Probably very jealous. <laughs> um, but in memory of Jack, I know that you were diehard Giants fan, and this is a complete illustrated history of the New York Giants, not only a local team, but a team that's had a great influence on the National Football League, so here we go. I'm going to bring down uh, Joseph Kopech. Joe's another Giants fan, go figure. I don't know if you knew these things, but in case you are a Giants fan, since the 1920s to now, they've had eight championships, 31 playoff appearances. Um, in this book, Giants Among Men, New York Giants, good reader, of course, and it discusses uh, the New York Giants of the 1960s and how they shaped the NFL and the history of the NFL. Patty Crocker, please come down, our school nurse. I found out that Patty loves Disney. You do? Yes, yeah, see? Right? Now it's all the help I get. Um, but um, John Hench is actually the mind behind Disney, the parks and the themes and the colors and everything that makes Disney so special. So please enjoy this book about Disney and John Hench. Uh, Mark Ainini, please come on down. <laughs> this book is called Capital in the 21st Century. Look how thick that is. You know it's good reading. This book is about, um, of course, 21st century from the 18, 1800s to now doing research on businesses that are being uh, successful. And it actually talks about why are the rich getting richer. And it's all in this book. So students that are out there, it's good reading. It'll be in our library. And Mark, congratulations. Sure. <laughs> right, so I'm class squad here, Linda. I didn't see Linda. but. Um, she loves New York City, loves New York City. This is called The Invisible Thread, an Invisible Thread, and it's about a uh, panhandler, a young man, 11 years old, who meets this executive female, and she just walks by him as he's being a panhandler, for some reason stops and goes back, and they've had a relationship for 30 years when this person's become successful because of that one incident in New York City for panhandling. Don't do that, students, but, <laughs> but you never know what link and who you'll meet at what time. Um, excellent story. Uh, Dave Wedding. Is Dave? Anyone that knows Dave, Dave is an avid golfer. So if you think about, and there's the movie, of course, the greatest game ever played, this would be an excellent read for Dave and, of course, for our students in the future. So we just have a round of applause for Dave Wedding. <laughs> 
Kathy McCormick. Uh -huh. Kathy, of course, is one of our very talented staff, and of course, one of our art teachers, our art teacher. She's our art department, and um, a book, of course, on Picasso. What else would be a better match than Picasso and art, right? So congratulations. the medieval times of Europe, the Irish were a great influence. And this book captures all of that. So yeah. you, uh, <laughs> uh, Trish DeFelice. math, big math, higher level math. So what should the book be on? No, <laughs> English literature. She loves English mysteries. Yes, I do. This is a murder mystery, and this is a good one. Well, let me read some of the background on this and see if I can find it. <laughs> it takes place in the Victorian era. If you read it, it's like, oh, I gotta read this right now, and I do have to put this up to read this. But this is a murder mystery uh, where there's a sleuth and they're trying to get fooled and it goes back and forth and they say it's such a good book, you cannot predict the outcome in the end. Trish will get in the first pick. But it's a great book and will be in our library, Trish. And last but not least, Marge Leach, come on down. Marge is a very gifted special ed teacher. And this book is about Walgreens and how Walgreens and one of the, I guess it was uh, the senior vice president of the company realized that students that are special ed can make a special place in the world. Well, on behalf of all of our staff, congratulations, folks. We're going to miss you. You're going to be hard to replace, and remember, you always have a home with us. Mr. King? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a round of applause, Mr. King. she wants to cook something, bring it in. We have a main office and the rest of the staff that would love, love to participate in some of the taste tests. So we have that book for her. So that would be the first one. Our next person up is uh, Ms. Arant. Ms. Arant is not here as well? All right, she has a passion that, to be honest with you, we all knew about, but it, we never realized how great it is. She loves to quilt. She's an amazing quilter. She loves to sew. It's this outstanding, outstanding hobby of hers. And her, her ability to do that is Amazing. Um, she did create some beautiful, beautiful blankets. So we got her a quilting with modern slant. Not that she's old school, just saying there's more out there. <laughs> <laughs> Our next one is Mrs. Shaw. Mrs. Shaw, Mrs. Shaw is here. <laughs> now, this is the sort of book that will inspire and maybe get me a little bit of trouble as well. Um, she has one dream, to go someplace. And I'm going to make that a little bit closer to her. 
I wanted to get her tickets. <laughs> the book budget wasn't that big. <laughs> so I did the next best thing. She wants to go to Hawaii. So we have the Traveler's Guide to Hawaii here <laughs> to inspire her and her family to get out there. Outside passion with things, so we got her the all new illustrated guide to gardening, sort of the, the end all be all of books for plants and herbs and vegetables. So, this is something that we know she'd enjoy, and also something good to have in our library if anyone wants to get into that sort of hobby and activity. Next up is uh, Jenna Martin. Come on, Jenna. So I immediately cross off anything in the medical field, anything with temperatures, band-aids, cuts, <laughs> bruises, concussions, fevers, or any kind of puke whatsoever. Mm. Uh, she is moving to Arizona, and she is probably one of the more active people I, I've ever met, and I don't ever want that to stop. So uh, I got a book, it says Back Roads and Byways of Arizona, Drives, Day Trips, and Weekend Excursions. And all I ask is that you shoot us an email once in a while and tell us about all the great things that happen. I want to thank you. Next we have Mr. Fregal. <laughs> Mr. Fregal is our current art teacher. He was also a past technology teacher, past industrial arts teacher, and probably a few more other things in his long distinguished career here. What I've learned by working with Mr. Fregali is you have to have passion. I've also learned that your passions can change every three to four weeks. <laughs> but the key is you have to have passion. One of his latest passions, and the one you may see him driving around the most, is his Mini Cooper. So I thought it fitting to get him something to do about the history of his most current passion, that when he gets together with other Mini Cooper drivers, he can espouse and impress them with his knowledge and facts. So I got him the mini history, 50 years of the mini and going on. So this is something you can read and share. <laughs> Next up, we have Ms. Marianne Campas. unsung hero of the department in a lot of ways. And she comes to work every day, inspires the students every day, teaches them to greatness every day. Her side job for many years was actually as a basketball coach at Brookdale Community College, where she also led them to greatness. And it sort of inspired me to think, what can she leave as a legacy for others to follow? And what we came up with was leading with the heart, because it's truly what she did. Coach K's successful strategies for basketball, business, and life. Because that's truly what she did every day. Her heart is in everything she does, and it's everything we've ever known about her. And, you know, it's in, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. And our last retiree, Mrs. Ryder. Again, it's not easy with all the retirees. They are leaving us to do bigger and better things with their families and friends, and, and we appreciate that, certainly, and we will miss them. Um, as far as active goes, Mrs. Ryder is unstoppable. Uh, she, she keeps us all going. Her energy is endless. Her, her passion is just boundless. We know she has a daughter now in Texas, and we know you'll be spending a lot of time down there while well, well, she's still stationed there. Um, we know that you may have some lead time, and hopefully she does as well. So what we did was to get you outside with Mr. Ryder when he goes down to visit as well. We have a job for you as well. We got you hiking Texas. So when you're out there, you're out there walking around, moving around. Um, exactly. I know where both of you are out in the hills of Texas. And we certainly wish the best to all of our retirees and all the retirees in the district. 
Uh, I'd like to now turn it over to Dr. Peter Kopek, the principal of Mill Pond School. Mrs. Mary Granahan. Um, Mrs. Granahan, if you please come down um, and we thank you so much for your so many years of service that you've given. Uh, this book, Where the Sidewalk Ends, uh, is an outstanding tribute to Mrs. Granahan because she enjoys poetry so much. And in your social studies classes, she's able to bring forth so many stories um, in so many ways to inspire her students to really embrace social studies and all of the learning that continues in her classroom. And for this, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Seiler, uh, who has worked for so many years as an English language arts teacher um, at the Mill Pond Elementary School, and to this we dedicate her Where the Wild, Where the Wild Things Are, uh, just the book about perseverance and the true fanciful stories that students will be able to share uh, with our preschool students, So, because so many students from her class um, were able to go and read to our preschool students, so we thought this would be a fitting tribute to her and to our sixth grade students at the Mill Pond Elementary School. So Ms. Seiler, thank you very much. And to our Mill Pond retirees, and to all our retirees in the district, thank you so much. <laughs> um, at this time, we'd like to invite Sherry Lizer. That's it. Uh, it was filled with a lot of uh, 
they claim him because she got to follow the employees as they got married, as they have children, as they retire. So Patty was there to answer any questions for anybody in the department. And we know that one of her passions is cooking. And so in her honor, we got Southern Living, hoping that she'll share some of these recipes with us when she's off and retiring. So thank you, Patty, and join the retirement.
Thank you. On behalf of Cedar Creek, I'd like to thank um, all of the retirees for their time and service uh, to our district. Each and every one of you um, is appreciated by the entire district and all the time and efforts and, and what you've done for all the students here. On behalf of Cedar Creek, uh, Nancy Navarosky is my retiree. She could not make it here this evening. It's her father's 90th birthday. Um, so I thought that was a really good reason not to be here. Um, Nancy is a speech correctionist for Cedar Creek. Uh, many of her students have had difficult experiences in school, meaning trouble with hearing sounds and words. And in elementary school, if you don't understand, you're not reading. So her job is very difficult at times in the primary grades. She spends valuable time not only teaching them to articulate, teaching them to speak, but teaching them to read. She believes that each of her students is unique, and she is really a shining example of what it means to work together to meet the needs of every child. Um, Nancy loves the beach, and there's a poem that's um, entitled, Kids Are Like Seashells, and she often refers to that poem as the shells are as unique as her students. So we thought it was um, appropriate that we we're giving her a book about seashells as a reminder of the correlation with her time with students as she sits on the beach and enjoys her time at the beach. So we'll have our seashell book for Nancy and in our library for our students, which they love, 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 the nonfiction, the picture books for Amore. So, thank you. Introducing uh, Mr. Brewer. Oh no, I'm sorry, Mr. Fiedler from Fork and River School. Good evening, everyone. At this time, I would like to call uh, retiree Mrs. Cindy Anderson to the podium. Over the course of many years, Mrs. Anderson has worked for the Lacey Township Board of Education in various capacities at all four of the elementary schools. She held the position as duty aid, paraprofessional, and library clerk. Mrs. Anderson is a warm and caring person who cared greatly for the needs of the many students she supported during her years of service here in Lacey Township. On behalf of the Lacey Township Board of Education, Dr. Brower, Dr. Clark, and all who comprise the Lacey Township Schools, I present to you a very special children's book written by local author Frank Finale titled A Gull's Story. Cindy, as a lifelong resident of Ocean County who lives on the Fork and River, I chose this book to represent your love of the New Jersey Shore. <clears throat> a second copy of this book, as you know, is dedicated to you and will be placed in our Fork and River School Library for circulation as a representation of the love and care you showed the students over the years of our schools. Congratulations, Mrs. Anderson, and to all of our retirees.
Dorothy did show up, oh my goodness. <laughs> I am so sorry. We were told that you wouldn't make it. I'll thank you so much for coming. Now, as Dorothy makes her way down here, I should tell you this. She began her career at Lenoka back in 1992. So she has been with us for some time. Mr. King and I were in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Janet Sires most certainly had a commitment to health and the welfare of all our students. Um, so much so that it was part of her life that she imparted that on her son that we had the pleasure to work with during my time at the high school, who also is uh, going out to be a healthcare provider. So the book that we thought would be appropriate for her is Oh, the Things You Can Do That Are Good For You, because she was always encouraging the kids to run around and be happy and be healthy. She also could not make it uh, with us this evening. Is Sandy Sassir. I was also informed Sandy could not make it with us <laughs> Sandy's perhaps one of the, the, the nicest, uh, kind of sweetest souls that you find on the planet. There was never a child that she would not help, and she would go out of her way for. Uh, in fact, she told me many times one of the things that just really made her um, be passionate about teaching is when a child's face would light up when they would learn to read something new. So we felt that to select a book, a treasury of children's literature would best fit her and what she did first time time here. <laughs> Next is uh, our main office secretary, Althea Baird. Now, Althea was only at Lenoka for one year, but she has uh, nearly 25 years service in our district. So again, she's someone who's been with us for quite some time. We felt very blessed to have her at Lenoka. Um, my only complaint is that we only had her for a year because she just became part of the family. She was an inspiration. She's a devoted mom and grandma who I'm sure she's gonna spend hours and hours of retirement down on the beaches at Long Beach Island with her grandkids. So we felt that if we got her a book, 18 miles of history on Long Beach Island, she would have something to read to them at night when they got home. This next one is very difficult. Uh, a woman by the name of Mary Doria, who's the principal secretary. Uh, to put it in perspective, Mary has 44 years of service in the Lacey School District. Five of your current principals were not yet born. <laughs> <laughs> she is a wealth of knowledge beyond anything and is the absolute um, textbook example of a teacher. And I don't mean somebody who, who has a degree or took classes. She is a teacher. She lights up when little kids come into the office and always takes the time to speak to them. <clears throat> it was a pleasure working with her. In the dictionary, next to terms like mainstay, dependable, constant, there should be a picture of Mary. Um, and just like the North Star at one point was a constant for sailors, that's how Mary has been for us at Lenoka. So we thought it was fitting that the book we'd select for her would be Toy Boat, because anybody who knows Mary knows that she loves the sailor. And I, I wish her well in her retirement sailing around with her husband, Dale. <laughs> I'd also like to thank all of our retirees um, as, a, as a resident, as a parent, for what you've done for my kids, uh, as a colleague, working with so many of you, and for many of you here uh, as a former teacher of mine. Thank you very much. I'm appreciative of everything you have done. Um, and. With a lot of admiration, a little bit of envy, I wish you well on your next year. Okay, on behalf of the entire Board of Education, we want to congratulate all our retirees. Uh, just remember now, every, every night is going to be a Friday night, and every day will be a Saturday. Enjoy it. Good health, good wishes for a happy, healthy, retirement we're going to miss you there's a lot of history leaving us this year 
and but we wish you all the luck. God bless you. Thank you. take a, a couple minutes break so if any of you would like to go home and read your books that you got tonight and our seniors have homework to do I'm sure so if you'd like to leave 